Hey there everybody, Jim here with Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We have another Type 1 Diabetes Update from Vertex Pharmaceuticals today. If you're a regular watcher of this channel, you are familiar with VX880. It is a therapy that is currently in clinical trials looking for a cure for Type 1 Diabetes. A lot of people are not familiar with the fact that there is also another therapy from the same company called VX264. This is also in clinical trials. They are both running concurrently, but there are differences in the two, and we're going to explain them all today right here. As always, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us to reach more people around the globe with this very important information on type 1 diabetes. Now let's get into it and find out all about VX264. Vertex VX264. What's the difference between this and VX880? Vertex VX264 and VX880 are both investigational therapies being developed by Vertex Pharmaceuticals for the treatment of type 1 diabetes, but they differ in their approach and specific formulation. VX264 is a stem cell-derived, fully differentiated, insulin-producing islet cell therapy. It is encapsulated in an immunoprotective device designed to shield the cells from the immune system, which aims to eliminate the need for immunosuppression. This encapsulation device is designed to protect the transplanted cells from the body's immune response, potentially allowing for long-term function without the need for immunosuppressive drugs. VX880 is also a stem cell-derived, fully differentiated, insulin-producing islet cell therapy. However, unlike VX264, VX880 is not encapsulated in an immunoprotective device, meaning patients receiving VX880 will require immunosuppression to protect the transplanted cells from immune system attack. The focus with VX880 is on the safety and efficacy of the transplanted cells in producing insulin and regulating blood glucose levels. So, the question is where is Vertex in the process of developing VX264? Let's take a minute to find out. According to a recent press release from Vertex and a related article from Diatribe, the VX264 trial is one of the most anticipated research projects in years for people with type 1 diabetes. The clinical study looks to gauge the effectiveness of implanted islet cells, which control blood sugar levels. The novel aspect of the treatment is an encapsulation device that protects the stem cell-derived cells from the body's immune system. In a surgical procedure under general anesthesia, the devices are implanted behind the muscles in the abdominal wall. This is a novel concept and has the potential to preserve the transplanted beta cells from being destroyed by the human body's immune attack. This concept of a device to protect the transplanted cells from destruction is a common theme that many companies are striving to protect in the race to find a cure for type 1 diabetes. This study is running concurrently with the VX880 clinical trial that this channel has covered for the last year. The study is currently enrolling patients who have suffered from type 1 diabetes for at least 5 years. The goal of this study is to determine safety, tolerability, and efficacy study of VX264 in participants with type 1 diabetes. This study will run until 2026. We are all hoping that this trial is a great success. Having to take immunosuppressive for a lifetime is a price anyone with any kind of transplant must deal with, but this therapy could alleviate that burden and the potential complications that come with immunosuppression. Type 1 Diabetic Warriors would follow the progress and keep our viewers updated. Okay, so that is VX264. It's an ongoing trial. It will be studied and worked on through 2026. Of course, I'm sure we're going to get updates along the way how things are going. And as always, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors will keep you apprised of everything as it unfolds. So you just take care of yourself in the meantime. Take care of those blood sugars. We'll keep you up to date on everything Type 1 Diabetes related. In the meantime, you have a great day. We'll have another video for you real soon right here at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Bye for now.